Welcome to another episode of the Financially Free Investor, where you will learn information and strategies on how to become financially independent by investing in real estate, something that is not taught openly in our society today. Financial freedom matters so you can live a bigger life, retire early, and do what matters most to you. Get ready to hear tried and true methods to becoming financially free with your host, Jordy Clark. Hey everyone, welcome into another episode of the podcast. Today I wanted to talk about why I prefer long-term rental. So it's 2022, for the last couple of years, Airbnbs have been the coolest thing everyone's talking about. Oh man, you gotta buy an Airbnb and Airbnbs cash flow so well. And this is very true in some markets. And you can make a lot of money with short-term rentals. There's definitely downsides to short-term rentals, like everything in life, right? There's upsides, there's downsides. A lot of the times though, we can get enamored with the idea of something that we think is gonna be better than maybe it is. So most of my portfolio today has been built with long-term rentals. A couple of reasons, and I've, I've definitely owned both. We own two short-term rentals currently. Thinking of selling one, the other one we're just doing a short-term rental because we're redeveloping the property into multifamily instead of a current single family, which it's currently zoned for. Back to my point, long-term rentals are really nice because most of you guys have decent paying jobs. You've got good careers. You enjoy what you're doing. And when you buy an Airbnb, you're basically signing up to be a hotel. You become the hospitality industry. So you'll get people messaging you, you know, at 10 o'clock at night trying to check in and they can't figure out the, the code to the front door or, you know, they find a hair in the drain or you're basically a hotel, right? Which is cool. You can definitely curate fun experiences for people and you can definitely cash flow a lot more. The tourism industry though is, is very much driven by discretionary income. If somebody loses their job, they're not going to sign up to go spend a week in wherever on an, in an Airbnb. Usually that's extra money that people have. You know, they have a vacation or two a year. They're traveling somewhere for work. And, and these are all great reasons to own short-term rentals. What I really like about long-term rentals though is this. It is a tried and true proven method for decades on how you can build wealth, the average Joe like me, can build wealth in real estate. You buy a good single family house in a good area, it doesn't have to be great, you keep it up, maintain it, and rent it to somebody You know that's gonna stay there two, three, four, five years. You know They'll take good care of the place because they live there full time. If a maintenance issue comes up, they let you know about it, so you're able to jump on it. But most of all, they're going to work every single day to provide a living because we all have to do that. We all have to earn income and they need to stay somewhere. Shelter and housing is one of our four basic needs. So they're essentially becoming an employee for you. And this is just the coolest thing for me because you're able to provide a great quality of life. You know, houses are so much for us. And we even saw this once the pandemic hit, everything turned in, you know, your house turned into everything. Uh, people are working from home. Uh, people are staying at home a lot more. And so now more than ever, renters and homeowners are all reevaluating what they want in a home. And it's a great opportunity to be able to buy something with 20, 25% down, maybe less, and stick a long-term tenant in there and then just not have to worry about a lot of little things that could go wrong or you know, if the economy shifts and all of a sudden no one's traveling, you just don't have those worries. Real estate can be a great tool to build wealth and retire early or just increase your passive income so you can go and travel more. You know, you can see the nation, you can do whatever is most important to you with the extra money left over. And that compounds, right? Again, not to say that short-term rentals are bad. I just really like long-term rentals because it's predictable. People need a place to live. That's money they need to spend anyways. And if you can get good 30-year mortgages that are fixed interest rates, payments not changing every month, your overhead stays the same, and rent historically goes up every single year with inflation. So if your payment, we'll call it 1500 bucks, it shouldn't change more than a few dollars as taxes and insurance change. Rent should go up, especially if you buy a good house in a good area. The probability that your rent is going up over the next 10 years 
is pretty good. Again, I just wanted to record this short little episode because I get so many questions about why do I prefer long-term rentals over short-term. And again, it's not that one is better than the other. They're just different, right? So, you know, for me, it's more important to build wealth over a long term because, you know, that's that's the wealth that stays and allows you to go and live in Hawaii for a month or go and travel in an RV for a summer. And it just that residual income is so important. And Airbnbs can fluctuate. You can have one really, really good month and then one month where you don't make anything and travel fluctuates. So overall, you know, you, you probably sacrifice just a little bit of cash flow with long-term rental, but there's definitely a lot of upsides that I want you guys to consider on your path to financial independence. So thanks for taking a minute to listen to this episode. I know it's a short one. I just wanted to hop on here and uh, give you a two cents as you guys are discovering everything that comes with investing in real estate. Thank you for joining me for another episode of the Financially Free Investor. If you found value in this episode or know someone who would find value in this information, please share with them, subscribe, and send us a review.